Okay, so I want to welcome you guys to Napkin. Uh, basically, this is the screenshot annotation tool that everybody should have, to be honest. It basically makes, if you have screenshots and you want to share a screenshot of your website with clients um, and show them what they're talking about, what you're talking about and things like that, it's just pretty cool. So as you can see, you've got an image, call out, text, screenshot. This will all be explained, or camera if you have a camera. Uh, this will all be explained later. So first, what you've got to do is import an image. So I'm going to use one I created earlier. Uh, see so if I go into my portfolio section, go to my portfolio, and see how, which one should we use. Uh, so I'm going to use a recent one here, one I made for a client. Uh, so this is a very, very simple, straightforward website. So as you can see, you've got your image here, you can change the opacity. You can crop it if you want as well, uh, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to crop it to the section. I'm just going to crop out this bottom bit here, because I don't need that bit. There we go. And then you can click remove cropping or apply. I'm going to click apply. And it, it takes it straight back in. Um, you've then got a call out, and basically this is a section of your website that you can zoom into. So I'm going to select on the about about a section of the page, which is right here. Uh, you can drag this bit over, and then you can then do you can then adjust it to be even even further in if you want. So there you go. But it gets a bit blurry then, but you get what I mean. You can create like a zoom in section, and then you can do what I like to do here, and then do an arrow from from where we're going here to, and it'll there you go, and you can create the, or you can do the automatic. That's what that does. Let's have a look. Don't think it does anything, but keep it pointing. Increase the thickness of it if you want, uh, and of course increase the color. No idea why I like yellow so much, but got all sorts of colors here uh, that seem to look quite good uh, it's just a easy way to show uh, clients things so here we go if I you can drag on an area this works better this works better now if you've got a say if we make this smaller again this is the actual default size of napkins here so if you've got say a window here and you go on screenshot it'll fade this out and then you can create a screenshot and it'll import it straight in uh, and then that's about it. So you've got shapes as well that you can add. Get a shape you want, pretty much. Uh, no idea why it's locked in place. There you go. You can, see you can adjust the size, the, sh the radius of the shape. Not sure where that's gone, but that's gone. Uh, and yeah, you can add shapes and all of that into this. You can also add text as well. See so if I make this full screen again. So if we do that. And we just get rid of it. Let me just delete this. I'm not sure why the app was locked up a bit. Okay, so I managed to, the app actually crashed for a bit then, which is not what we want, but there you go. Um, see, here's what you have as well. Another cool feature the, uh, the arrow actually stay locked to the point. In the photo, it actually knows where it's locked to, so it'll stay locked to that point, which is really, really cool, actually. Uh, even if you move this section as well, uh, you can also draw. So I can draw a section from the header here. I could draw it to this box or the other way around. Here we go. Draw it to the header, and it'll create an automatic line for me here uh, from the oh, and now I've got arrows going everywhere now. But yeah, you can see you can get arrows pretty much going wherever you want. Uh, you can do a red line, which just is red like to automatic as well. So, oh, pointing, point's my favorite. And then, what you can do as well, we can add text anywhere. So, text, just do that. And then you can drag it into the area, into the text box pretty much. And you can change the color of this as well. So, create white. There you go. Just a nice little uh, feature there that you can add. So, it's really good for showing, showing clients that maybe don't understand what you've done, the changes, don't understand what each of the objects do. Uh, well, yeah, show them it. So you've got a few options here. How to export? You can export the file, mail it, message it, airdrop it, Twitter, Facebook, Flickr, add to iCloud, add to iCloud. And there's a few more as well. Uh, you can save it as .png uh, file pip. Try to export now because an image file. Drop it anywhere you you drop an image. Uh, you can do a change format to PNG or JPEG. Uh, that's about it. So there's quite a few things you can do with this program. Experiment with it. It's just really useful. Uh, but of course, I recommend using it in a small window because usually you're not doing that many things with it. You can also, of course, resize it as you'd expect and all, do all that stuff with it. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in another video. Bye bye.